Hi everybody, uh, I'm Annie and I'm from India and I work with Red Hat. Since nine years I'm with Red Hat uh, working with the language team with the localization <coughs> and uh, so we have been, uh, uh, we have come across different type of uh, translation management system. So this is Zanata. Zanata is an in-house translation management system which has been developed by Red Hat. So coming, being we all users of uh, different translation management system, I thought I should be sharing about a little bit of Zanata also, so that you know it's like give and take. So this is the architecture, uh, just to give an idea. So neither <laughs> <laughs> I do I I don't understand all of it. So it's like uh, web browser clients to interact with the Zanata. Zanata is developed on JBoss. And these are the utilized technologies. And okay, the features. So the translation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out of the box. Uh, I know. <laughs> so the translation management system. The, the important features of Zanata translation management system is the translation reuse. Uh, I shall explain later. I mean, coming slides how in detail about all these features. Then the review process. Then the translation manage uh, memory import and export. Then you have the glossary integration, then GitHub, and yes, it is 100% open source, free, and it continuously interact, continuously work with the community. So a bit of history about Zanata. Zanata, the conceptualization was in 2008, and then uh, the users, uh, the internal users, the translators within Red Hat, we started using it from 2009, and by <coughs> 2011, the first uh, community instance was launched. And uh, since then, it's with the communi communities. Uh, now Fedora has completely moved to Zanata. I guess JBoss, OpenStack, these are the communities which use uh, Zanata now. And uh, this is how a login screen would look. So you can have, you can create your own Zanata ID or a Fedora ID or a Google, Yahoo, OpenID, anything. And you can log into Zanata. And uh, this is a user dashboard. So, uh, this is just a normal user, not an admin. So, you'll get the activities, what you have done, the current day, then this week, then the month, and which all languages you are subscribed to. And uh, you have to go to the projects to browse through the projects. Then the groups, languages, glossary, blah, blah, all these are there. And then uh, we'll go to the translation editor to see how it looks. So, the translation editor features our concurrent user support, multiple TM, TM is uh, translation memory integration, then the review process, I'll show it in, uh, in, on the screen, that's better. Okay, so this is how a translation editor looks. So this side, you have the English strings, and I mean, oh. what's, where's that red pointer, how to get that? Uh, the top it's in the center, top oh. center. This one? Yeah. Oh. So this is... Uh, you have to click here, and this is where you translate the string. And uh, this is the this is the editor tools. So this one is a notification notification area. This is the chat room. If you click on this, I have to go to internet, and I'll show you all this. This is just a screenshot. And uh, this is the setting. And this is the validation options. Whichever you want to use, you get it over here. So. Uh, yeah, okay, this is incomplete, complete. You click on this and you get, you can filter the messages as per the status, incomplete strings, complete strings, like this. And this area is a translation memory. And you, here you have the glossaries. I know it, 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 this screenshot will not, it's not easy to understand here. Okay, so let's just focus this one I have taken here. So here you can see this uh, the user this particular user has the access to review the translation so those users will get an option like click, like this thumbs up thumbs up if you just click on that which means the translation is reviewed and accepted so we have a color code for this so these the, the separator the plain one shows that it's untranslated if it's green it shows that it's translated and uh, if if you accept the translation this green would turn to blue and if you're rejecting the translation, it would turn to red. And uh, fuzzy is yellow or orange, something. 
and so the thumbs down if you click on the thumbs down it uh, it means reject translation and if you reject the trans this reject, reject a translation you get a column like this where you have to add the comment why are you rejecting this translation and then the reason for being a translation being accepted or a translation being rejected or whatever comments if you want to put for the particular string that you can get it when you click on this this icon this particular icon so that is called known as the translation history so translation history who did what changes what kind of uh, when they did that change and what are the changes they did and also different two versions of translations you can compare and uh, check the differences between two 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 types of translations two versions of translation so this is how a translation history would look like when you click on that icon you get here so it says Annie Peter created approved revision then uh, somebody anonymous created a translated revision you get you know you get and then you can compare the get to know what all history what all changes are being bear done to that string and then you have a concurrent user support feature that is uh, let's say we have more than three users working on a project so we all can work together in that project and suppose I am working on this string and somebody else also working on that string so that person would get something like this saying that that this there is another user working on this particular tr string watch out so you have to move to another string or something like that and uh, there is a chat room which I can show you uh, which I showed you earlier there you can interact with other translators you can coordinate and collaborate the work you know discuss about translation you do or about some words or whatever so you can have a communication within the system and do the translation and then another feature is project-wide search and replace so you just have to click on this search and you get this uh, this window you have to type whatever you want to search and the strings where you have that whatever you're searching will be displayed here and you can just replace the whole project you don't have to go string by string whole project wise project wide you can replace it and uh, yeah so I'll just show it on the screen can I switch to the it's browser is it possible yeah. escape no nope, you have to move Maybe somebody will, will pay for the for the doctor for you <laughs> after that. You have the, the wheel, so you may you rotate. Oh, okay. Much better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so this is the login screen, and I have logged in somewhere and kept the screen ready. I guess this one. Yeah. So this is how it looks. Oh. So let's say I'm on the ABRT project. Mm -hmm. Then this is a version, and this is a screen where I am in, and. So, this is an untranslated. Oh, I need to refresh one second. Sorry. F F five. Yeah. This is like at the part. Yeah. Simple. But I think it's just a notification. Yeah. So you can't collaborate on the same text. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you are warned that there is somebody else. Okay. You have a chat. Get out of my text. <laughs> okay, uh, I am in the Fedora instance of Zanata. So let me just log in. You speak Hungarian as well? No, by missing. I just <laughs> selected <laughs> Hungarian. So then. Okay, so these are the versions. I <laughs> click on master. Then. <laughs> <laughs> then the. Phantoms. Okay, so the, la the languages are displayed here. 
I search for my language so it is Malayalam default I click on this and then the file is displayed here click on the file and this is the translation editor oh yeah so just have to type here that's it and you can filter selecting incomplete or complete you can just it's up to your wish and then okay so this is the translation editor tool so this is the system messages the notifications get displayed here this is a chat room so if somebody else is also working on the same yeah. language i mean same project it, it's not required that they should be on the same language same project somebody else is there those person will be listed there and you can chat with them mm -hmm. so it's a collaborative work then this is a setting you know uh, yeah. how you want the editor how many messages to be displayed how the navigation should be done this you can set it over here and uh, yeah this is a validation options and you can just hide it and this is a translation memory so uh, so this now you can see problem reporting is a string and problem reporting configuration it's it's saying I can't 60 60% 60 match yeah. so 60, 60, 60. 100% 80% it depends on you know uh -huh. that's that's a workaround done there and then copy it over here mm -hmm. and you can just edit it the way you want it and you may you may remove just save the it. configuration word I'm sorry you may remove the configuration word this guy ah, exactly okay whatever however you want to edit yeah, this sure. thing. yeah and then uh, uh, either you save this and go to this or you just click on this it will get automatically saved mm hmm and now I can say that I, I'm a reviewer, so either I can accept it or I'm going to reject it. Mm -hmm. So I say reject, so maybe incorrect or something. And so you can see a one, something over here. It says there's a comment belonging to this string. So you click on this and you get to see the translation history. Uh -huh. So and now you can see whatever comments were being done on here and you can compare the translations and etc etc and uh, then the translation reuse feature suppose a person is so now how do I get back to the oh I do not know <laughs> I'm sorry uh, oh, so just, uh, Translation reuse. Uh, you have two ways to you uh, to you reuse the translation. One is copy trans. Copy trans feature means a, a, a project manager, project maintainer, somebody they're creating a new version of an existing project, maybe version two or version three. So already you have certain translations being done for the. There might be cases that similar translations or similar strings are there. So you can just use a copy trans option, and the exact matches whichever is there, it will just get copied. So half of your work is already done. You don't have to retype the game. Yeah. And then the manager, the project maintainer can give, give the translator for working on rest of the strings. Then another option is translation memory. Translation memory is something. Uh, we have seen it, yeah? This one. Translation memory merge. TM merge over here down. Okay. So if you click on this, the whole set of strings will be checked with the translation memory in whichever, wherever you get a match. It will be, you can decide the percentage of, ma you, you can fix this, you can, you know, whether mm -hmm. it should needs to be whatever you want to do and you can just click on proceed to autofill. So, bulk use, reuse from the translation memory, that's, and it's very fast and it saves your time. So that's how these two features work and uh, this is again the back end and you know, something the project maintainer should be doing, we don't have to worry about this. And then documentation can be found on zanata.org. So, and any questions regarding the development side or anything, you can ping zanata-users at redhat.com or maybe you can ask me or send me so that I can, uh, <coughs> oh, I forgot to put my email ID. Yep. It's, it's apeter at redhat.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's, 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 that is Zanata. Um, 
Um, are there the shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts for when, when you use it? Because I, I saw you picking up, you know, the, the, the memory from the top, from the bottom by clicking by the mouse. But, you know, when, when you work quickly, it may be just like on us to, to go there and click by mouse. So the question is you if you have a shortcut to... Uh, to uh, the copy the strings? Yeah, so we recall exactly to accept I think, I the... Think this, this is, was there a shortcut key for that? I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe, because I've seen you, when you reject, for example, the... Ah, for um, those options. No, uh, yeah, I'll I mean... I'll just go back. I've seen that when you reject it, um, the, the button... Yeah, no, on the next one? There you can see uh, control plus enter. enter. Uh -huh. Okay, can we go back, please. Yes, when you uh, want to want to accept a uh, memory from the bottom side, say uh, this one, the copy button. You're right, exactly the copy button. Say so, uh, copy. I don't. Uh, is well, there a shortcut key for copy? I don't. You, think if you knew, it's not a problem. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. At least I know. I just click copy, so I don't know whether there's like a translate. I mean, it's a shortcut button. When I was there in the red, it was not. Uh, it was not there. <laughs> then it's still. So I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Whether no. indeed this three four months something happened. Or no, no, no. Then it's not there. No, because I don't. Okay. I don't use the uh, use the mouse so much. So uh -huh. I used to work just on keyboard. So yeah, that's good. Especially in those cases. And last question. That. You can ask them to put a shortcut. Yeah, maybe maybe there is already. Uh, yeah, maybe there is mm. because I, I very rarely use shortcut key, so I I personally do not know. <laughs> <laughs> and last question is about the collaboration. I mean, uh, it's it is just it is just uh, is it just um notification. That somebody is working on your document, or you can um, uh, work together in the in the same very same document. On this, on the same document, yes. That the the, the uh, this one, what I showed you is, if suppose two person working on the same string, that's not possible. Or the same. Yeah, so I, the I'm same working statement. on the okay. same same sentence, so same statement. Okay. So if I'm working already on that, and you're trying to edit to edit okay. the same string at the same time. Get if you are on the same page, I mean, uh, same two paragraphs before, it's okay. That's it's okay. Same yeah. project, same page is fine. Same string, you get the no, sort of right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's why that's why we have the chat so that you know. And say get, get out, out of my <laughs> get, out. <laughs> get out of my statement. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So. It's interesting. Uh, so I have one question about visibility. How uh, is it easy to move uh, like a robot from one message to another uh, to next one to the previous one? Uh, you mean uh, yeah, it's from you, you shortcut. <laughs> you, you just have to enter. Enter you. You mean uh, translate yes, and enter. No, you just go to the next. Like to yeah. Previous. One. Previous. Yeah, previous one. Previous. There is shortcut key for yeah. that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't remember it exactly. It has to be found. But <laughs> see, the, there is. I, I showed you the. Uh, this one. Okay. Here no. you have the navigation option settings. So we have to use mount to click. For example, I want to come up or I want to mark this message, uh, this message as uh, incomplete. Uh -huh. shortcut and no need to, to, to use mouse. Is that okay? What's what? I am sorry, no, I didn't um, understand the question. Yes, I want <laughs> to translate with a mouse. Oh. No mouse. Okay, no mouse. Just like me. So, so what you can do is, uh, you can just yeah, no, sit, uh, go to that incomplete. Over here. Uh, so the question is, how can I? Uh, is it possible to mark the message with with, uh, with which is not translated, yes. incomplete? With a mouse. With a mouse. Oh, without mouse. Yeah. Uh, no, you have to click on that, and you have to ah, okay. click it, select that. And then, if you click on that, incomplete, you can uh, filter, saying that these are the incompleted messages. Then work on that, clicking enter, enter, enter. Okay, I have an idea. And the second second question is. Um, is there any benefit uh, if you want to move from either of these? Is there any benefit? Uh, yeah. Uh, question the translation memory is good in this. And then, because uh, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> try it. We, we could try with the, with the, the browser you have opened with that session, but yeah, just if you tap. Do any do any will listen your talk? Okay, we will fight with you.
No, there are a lot of things here uh, that is good, good but uh, Kutal is also good come com, uh, in example, several regions. But there are several things here. Escape key is as close that up the dialogue, for example. <laughs> I, I think Putin has uh, a new version, right? Yeah. I mean, it's clean. Right. Mm -hmm. I heard that. It's all about Mojila also. Did you have uh, uh, experiences of uh, migrations from other translation systems? Because TDF is using uh, uh, for uh, some, in some areas, uh, uh, Omega T. Mm -hmm. Any other areas, Google? Do you have uh, experiences of migration? Can you compare that? The, the uh, Fedora was early using Transifex. So okay. when Transifex uh -huh. moved to uh, proprietary, uh, the whole Fedora system got migrated to Zanata now. Mm -hmm. Only a couple of packages are to be moved. Rest all they have moved to, migrated to uh, Zanata. So it's, it was done last year. Yeah, no, two, two releases, it's been done on Zanata. Migration was, uh, uh, maybe might take, uh, the migration is okay, but the user, it might be a problem because we are used to the, the other interface. Yeah, so no, we have I, to get, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a localizer, so I don't know, but, but I think that maybe Olivier and Sophie yeah. should have a look. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree because I uh, was talking with him. I, I think the interface is so easy, so this is clean. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, so clean. Uh, I've seen the Poodle interface and yeah. not being yeah. technical, I said, okay, it's not for me. Yeah, so yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought the same. I saw this one, and this I is really, you really can create, possible. <laughs> it's create really a visually, and visually easy to understand. You, you yeah, don't need to, yeah. to read the manual, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you have to read the manual, but, but it, it, it's help. so easy. Sometimes Olivia asks me for help and I say, I don't like yeah. photo. <laughs> I, I hate I, photo I, and I it's not for me it, too. I, I think that Olivia and Sophie should have should, a look at yeah. that. Yeah, that's and one then, one they, then they, they decide because they are the leader of the, the localization, yeah. so of course... Uh, so you won't. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's open source, so yeah. we are not competing to each other. Exactly. We, are, no. we have I was to find the best, the best <laughs> that, that's answer. That's why I said uh, to, yeah. to, not, uh, to help us. just to share uh, in another no, translation management system, exactly. which we all use, because we also use Putin. We work on Putin as well. So, oh, so you can you I can compare them. Uh, yeah, personally, this is good. Uh, initially, I didn't like it. But <laughs> nowadays, it, uh, because, uh, uh, you know, you it's not change. much popular because now we are in Zanata Zanata is coming to the community and getting more feedback and uh, they are improving agreeing to well. change, you know, whatever based on user feedback, whichever is possible. Oh. So it's it's improving. So I'm, I'm also liking it now. So, yeah, it is a good system. No, but then it's coming from Red Hat, which is a very good uh, community citizen. So... Uh, we, 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 we know how to work with that. We, we have Red Hat people contributing to, to LibreOffice, so I think it, we should give a serious look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then maybe the we decide that we don't change anything, but at least we know, and maybe for some uh, project we can decide to use yeah. it. Because at the end, you have no to doubt. translate the software. So yeah. the result is it, always the software translated. Yeah. So, so how, how have Fedora done was we have zanata.org and then if so a project wants a dedicated instance, no. it's moved to fedora.zanata.org. So it's only Fedora projects on that instance. So we have just simply zanata.org. There anybody can just uh, put their projects and you know yeah. get the approval from the Zanata team and approve it. So you can give a try on zanata.org yeah. mm -hmm. and see how it works, upload a project and... You and it, it, is, it has with, with standard strings, of course. Yeah, standard all formats. And you have both uh, command line, you can upload and download. It works offline and online. Okay. So if you want to download or upload any translation, it can be done from the command line, mm -hmm. also from the web interface. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's possible. Really flexible. Yeah, I think what makes sense is that. You can have a look. Zanata.org has all yeah. the. Oh, we may decide yeah, to, I think to overlook it over years and see sometimes. how the exactly. it grows. It's, and it's <coughs> Sophie and, and, uh, and Olivia. Help me! Help me. No. <laughs> no, I don't like this. Not this, this know the, the overall uh, localization project. Of ha have project. a look, and if you if you need uh, to discuss with the Zanata team, because I I don't know about the development side. No, no, no. no. So you can. No, no. Have you a may be able to do that project, so it's easy to get in touch with them. Exactly, I can help you to. Them, so, yeah. But you may be useful as well because you 
You're not on the technical side, but you're I a user. I joined right? this team latest, maybe one month back as a QE. So oh. I was a user, now I'm a QE. So you, you will have been uh, in debugging that. Exactly. Great. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's interesting because I think. I really like this interface. Yeah. I would say thank you. Thank you thank so much. You.